Hello, dear viewer. It's a beautiful evening. You join us live wherever you are. If you are outside Nigeria, it might probably be morning, noon, or whatever time rate you have there. But we are really glad to have you here live on Equa TV. This is the worship room. We talk about worship, everything that revolves around worship. As worship leader, as uh, the person that you are called to be, to lead people in worship and to be the worshiper of God. And we've been having very interesting discussions for some weeks now, talking about the priest and the Levite. We've been having a series of engagement discussions. But before I continue, I want to introduce a very, a very great brother, an elder. Mm -hmm. He's an elder, actually, an elder in mm -hmm. the church. Mm -hmm. And it's quite an amazing thing that God is using him to bless us mm -hmm. for some time and always. Elder Josiah Wari, mm -hmm. glad to have you back. It's a pleasure <laughs> to be here. Yeah, after the sabbatical leave. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're glad to have you here. Uh, so you. Uh, I know you've been following some of our discussions in your absence and even the ones you were present, the ones sure. we've discussed with Reverend Gaius. We talked about worship. We talked mm. about uh, 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 the priest and the Levite. It has been a very, it has been the, the elephant in the room that we mm. barely talk about in the sure. church. Not that we don't, but it's hardly, hardly discussed. Uh, I, I just remember that from the time I've grown up to this to this point, I've never had an extensive discussion mm. Mm. on this very particular issue, the priest and the Levite. Yes, I'd watch some videos on YouTube and things, but they just talk little things. They don't really give expansiated discussions. Not mm. that there are not messages on that, but I haven't come ac across them. But through this discussion, it has opened my mind, my spirit, my heart, and it has helped me to learn to understand my calling as a Levite that I am, and even as a priest in my home that I am. Mm. So I think it's very, very important. So you, our viewer, mm. it's my expectation that while we are having this discussion, as we continue this, this conversation, you'd be blessed. Mm. And whatever discussion or whatever input you have, you can just drop your, your, your comments on, the, on our Facebook handle and then just share this with friends as well so that they can be blessed. Share it with your band members, share it with your church members, share it with even your enemies, mm. <laughs> anyone around you, sure. share it and tag as many people so that they will be blessed through this. So mm. Elder, mm. We've been talking about the priest and the Levite. And the last discussion we talked about, you know, we were trying to shake some tables, mm. which uh, we've not really, <laughs> we've not broken any table. Okay. You know, we're talking Thank about, God. yeah, we, we, we're, we're talking about, you know, the, 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 the differences, you know, what causes problems, what causes rifts mm. between these two. You, all, you see that it's always, it's always the same, maybe everywhere where you go, where the priest and the Levite, the, the idea that God had made these two particular offices was that they work together. Mm. One complements the other. The other cannot achieve without the other. Mm. But how we're seeing it now, everybody's operating independently. Sure. To the point where you could see that uh, uh, some people are only, they only come to church because of music, mm. right? And you see that some people, uh, uh, some people say, ah, when this pastor is preaching, I start to sleep. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, uh, just the kind of disparity that we have. And you mm -hmm. know, like usually, uh, we, we used to make this joke that ah, band members don't like don't like giving offering. Mm -hmm. Just like just just to say something on this is that they are only focused on music. When they are done with music, they move out of the church. Mm. You don't see them part of what they what they are, part of the Sunday service yeah. or whatever activities that should be done within the temple or the church that we call it today. Mm. Right? I think it's really a serious problem. And I remember last week when we talked about this, we we said that uh, there is there is there is a there is miscommunication first, lack of understanding of the calling, and then not knowing where you are from. Mm. If you actually know where you are from, you will not find yourself to be an entertainer in the church. Mm. You don't find yourself that you're only there to sing for people to receive or to give titan offerings or to welcome visitors or mm. to entertain people. Sure. So I think one of the reasons why we have this discussion is for people as pastors, as Levites, to see that your work is supposed to be like this. You mm. don't work independently. So I don't know what mm. you have to chip on. Mm. <coughs> well, um, thank you so much for... <clears throat> highlighting that that sometimes there are conflicts, especially when we come to corporate worship in a church setting, you find out that the priest and the Levite, the minstrels now, the singing 
uh, Levite, which I believe in the beginning of this discussion we are able to establish the fact, mm. bringing it uh, to the contemporary time no. that we find ourselves, the pastors and the singers mm. in the church, there's always this rift between them, even between singers in the church, maybe singing agencies. We have uh, in, in an equal setting, you know that you have the band, you have the choir, you Women's have the fellowship. women fellowship uh, who sing every Sunday. And you find out that even those groups have problems between themselves, mm -hmm. not just uh, with the pastor or the priest. And one of the things we can highlight and hint to, to, to cause some of those problems is just like you have said, understanding our roles. How many of, of every worship leader, how many of them really understand their role in a worship service? Mm. Now, you are there not to compete with anybody. The worship leader must understand that his role is not to compete with the other mm. worship leaders that are there. Your role is not in any way to compete with pastor. Mm -hmm. So that they will say, it's when, just like you gave an example, it's when they are preaching. Pastor is preaching, people are sleeping. But when we are singing, people mm -hmm. are alive. So you feel <laughs> you are better than the pastor. Mm -hmm. Or maybe because you have the gift of singing more than the others who can sing. Because like in, in our setting, we have the choir that uses sulfurs. They don't use instruments mostly. But you find out that the band is the one that uses complete instrument in a sense. So they will tend to feel uh, those ones that <laughs> will sing and move to different keys. They do <laughs> Have a coordinate, you you know. Choir sometimes will claim that after pastor it is also. Yeah. So why are you what <laughs> we are supposed to be the ones that when you find out that there is so much conflict, should we be the one who is to sing during offering? Who is to sing during when pastor wants to give message? If this one sings during that time, is a problem. You, there's just so much competition. And I want to hint it to understanding um, our role. Each of us have a part to play in what God is going to do in a particular worship service. So as uh, worship leaders, God has placed us strategically there for a purpose. And you need to find out if you don't know what the, your role is. Your role, um, one, someone once told me and said, he said, S what we normally do is, as worship leaders, the mistake we make is, we come as worship leaders. Then we, as a leader, you are supposed to be in front. And people are following you. Mm. It's just like Moses. When the, the Red Sea parted, the leaders have to be in front to enter. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't expect Moses after uh, parting the Red Sea. Runs, and then he now say, uh, you put, come and enter. <laughs> Do you think who will be the first person to enter? No. Moses has to enter. He first. has to be the example. Uh -huh. They have to see that Moses is there <laughs> and water did not collapse, collapse on him. On him. <laughs> then they will say, uh -huh. let us go. So he entered. Now, that, he, he, it's the person now told me that sometimes what we do is we open the door. And then when we open the door, we are trying to push people inside. That is not how to lead. And I remember, um, I think last weekend, when you guys came to our church during the barn weekend, you, you talked about something like that. You know, people... Worship leaders today just want to tell people how to worship God. Mm. You want to control <laughs> everything. Instead of, you're a worship leader, you're supposed to actually 
be concentrated on worshiping God mm. with every sincerity of your heart. Mm. Not concentrating on His pe people will now follow you as you worship God. Mm -hmm. Not you trying to tell them, this is how you should do it. This is how you should do it. That's not your role there. And so worship leader, if people must enter to the presence of God and experience that you must have entered there. Mm -hmm. And even in that worship service, before that service, you have been there, you, you understand what the, the presence of God is. Mm -hmm. And then, when during the worship, you have to enter. It's not just to open door for them. <laughs> Bring the right song at the church mm -hmm. is worshiping and then you are just there looking at how you are moving the crowd, who is not dancing and all of that. So, your role, simple as a worship leader, is to worship God. Mm. Others watch and follow you. Mm. So, the moment you lose touch with your heart being centered on God, and you begin to allow other distraction, then you have missed it. In fact, from that place, you begin to have problems. Mm. Because somebody who is truly worshiping God in a worship gathering, whose mind is tuned to God, will hardly even know what the next person is, mm -hmm. is doing. Mm -hmm. That person would hardly be bothered if the other person is kneeling down or not, if he or she is closing his eyes or not, mm -hmm. if the pastor uh, was looking at him somehow or not. You, all those things will not arise. So a lot of people have... Um, these conflicts because truly their hearts are not inclined to worshipping God even at that moment. They don't understand that their role is not really to judge people. Mm. Their role at that point is not to t tell people what to do. You will, you will be so a successful worship leader if you just truly worship God mm. with your heart yes. freely. There's, there's something you said mm -hmm. that struck my mind and I think it's one of the problems we are encountering as leaders. Mm -hmm. The leaders in worship, talking about both the priests and the Levites, mm -hmm. that's the pastors and the musicians or the, sure. the uh, what name do you call them? Ministrels. Ministrels. <laughs> Ministrels, yes. And I, I, it took me back, there was a scripture we talked about with Reverend Guys mm -hmm. the other time. Second Chronicles chapter 5, 11 sure. down. And, and the Bible said that, that the priests, they came from the holy place and they consecrated themselves, both with the Levites. Mm. The priests and the Levites, they came together. They consecrated themselves, you understand? It, which is said that they prayed together. They, mm. And then the Bible said that they, they let go of their titles. Sure. Which is said that as we are seated here in worship to God, we are not an elder, I'm not a pastor, mm. we are just but... Uh, uh, object of worship to God. That's what mm. we saw ourselves. I don't want to be addressed in this worship yeah. as the most senior reverend. You understand? Mm. I don't want to be addressed as the chief usher in this worship. But I want to be addressed as the object, the, sorry, the, 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 yeah, the object that worships God. Mm. The object, not the object of worship, but yeah, the, the object, object that worships, worships mm. God. You understand? Mm. Because God the is worshiper. the object of worship. Mm. You mm. Yeah, you are, we, we, we all stand as worshippers. And I got to see that well, you said something that really struck my mind. You see the, the disparity and the problem we have amongst ourselves within the band, mm -hmm. within the choir, is one of the reasons why we don't experience God's presence in our mm -hmm. worship. Mm -hmm. Because if you check, the only place, the, in fact, where you see things happen is where people agree. Sure. And you know, when they were all dedicated to the temple, the, 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 the Bible said that with 120 trumpeters, they didn't even mention other instruments. You understand? Mm, they came yeah. together and they were saying, for he is good. His mm. love endures forever. forever. In oneness. Mm. Uh, another scripture, uh, another trans translation says, in unison. Mm. Now the unison means that they are one in spirit. Sure. They could be singing soprano, alto, tenor, bass, contra, alto, whatever. Mm. But their spirit was one. That's what it means by mm. unison. Sure. Nobody saw himself as the best lead vocalist or the composer of the song, mm. or the one that is, that is doing the ad lib of the mm. song. Nobody saw himself as that, but they saw themselves together. But things like this don't happen in our local churches no. today. Whether in Equa, whether in wherever, call them. It, I'm not saying it's, it's, it's constant everywhere. 
-hmm. But most places we've traveled here and there, sure. and we've been in other churches. Mm -hmm. We've been, uh, we've been, we've been in schools, and we've observed such things sure. that you could see that amongst the music team, maybe let's say within our setting, the women fellowship are not always happy if the band is giving songs to it for mm -hmm. for praise and worship, mm -hmm. or the band feels that. Ah, we are the ones that have the instruments for people to dance. Why are they doing Thanksgiving and mm. telling choir members to sing? <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Because sometimes you feel that the place and the power and the fulcrum where the glory revolves is around you. Mm. But where the glory revolves is when there is unity in spirit. Sure. Is where there is consecration. Is sure. when there is contriteness. Is when mm. we come together regardless of who we are. Sure. I think it's a problem for us in, in the church today. Mm. That you could even see, and uh, uh, I did a study about a church in, in Australia. Mm. Now, I, I think I said this in some of the uh, episodes we had here. What happened in that church is that any Sunday, every Sunday, or whether they have a concert to do, whatever they even is a Sunday, whatever gathering they have, the songs they are going to sing for that gathering, as the Holy Spirit leads the music team, they write the songs down, whether they are composed or other people's songs, and then they send it to the church. Now, the church too has a team of people that oversee to see how is the lyric of the song. Does it give praise and worship to God? Is it scriptural? What is the theology? You understand? And when they are okay with this, okay, go, go ahead with this. Now, this, I, I appreciate that kind of setting. You mm. understand? But it's not like they are being, they are putting God in a box. It's just that they want to be accountable to the priest. Mm. You understand? And the priest agrees to what they are doing. Sure. And that's why you see sometimes, uh, I urge I, 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 I churches to do this. Because mm. if you do this, you could see that the message that comes from the pulpit mm. goes together with, this, with, the, with the songs that, are, uh, that mm. revolves within, within the church. Mm. So you could see there is unison. And sometimes, I, I know it has happened to you before, sure. sometimes you just lead a song on a Sunday. Mm. And then you, it will surprise you that what the pastor is preaching is a song you are singing. Sing. It's because you are connected in the spirit. You understand? So mm -hmm. why not we find ourselves in these kinds of gatherings whereby the pastor does not see the musician as a threat. Mm. The musician does not see the other lead vocalist as a threat. You understand? Sure. But we all see ourselves as worshippers. Mm. And sometimes you feel that if you are not in church, ah, if I'm not in church, praise and worship will not be good. That's a lie. <laughs> With your presence, without your presence, the name of the Lord will be glorified and mm. exalted. It's just for you to avail yourself. I remember there was a time I was complaining to my spiritual father. I said, Kai, daddy, Kai, I'm, I'm not happy with myself. I said, what is that? I said, sir, I'm not growing. Growing how? Spiritually, Kai, daddy, I'm having issues. He said, he, he was not talking to me. He was being a, a, a kind of sarcastic, but he was asking me some questions. He said, okay, Israel, if you, are on, if you are around on Sunday in church, do you always lead praise worship? I said, I said, no. He said, okay, if you're not around next Sunday in church, will there be praise worship? I said, yes. Will God's name be glorified? I said, yes. Do you think that the music will be good? I said, yes. So you think that with your presence or without your presence, God will not move? I said, God will move. He said, Israel, don't feel that it is only mm. your presence that makes God to move. Mm. In your absence, God will move. Sure. And what he was encouraging me is, is, is that don't just stick to Sunday services. Find places where you find fellowships that you will grow spiritually. Mm. So I think we find ourselves with this kind of uh, disparity where we feel that uh, this is of importance. That is of importance, mm. and when we keep giving these offices importance compared to the other, it becomes a competition. Sure. Whereby, whereby, where, where we are trying, because that's what we do now, sir. We try to bring God's presence down. So. <laughs> we are struggling. Yes. But it's supposed to be effortless. Mm -hmm. You made something. You, you made mention mention of of of, of leading people. Sure. You, are, you, you can't lead people to a place where you don't know. Yeah, and, the reason, yeah. I, I, sure. and the reason why that was because they don't know the presence. Sure. Of God. They don't even know that yeah, they are lost. invoke his presence. <laughs> so they are lost. But when you dwell in God's presence, you abide. Mm -hmm. And you know that this is the spirit of God moving. Mm -hmm. And you know this is where he's going. So you lead them in worship. Mm -hmm. So I think it is important that we get to understand this. And while we're talking about this, I know we're planning for Worship the King mm -hmm. in Lafia. This is the seventh edition. Sure. It has been a beautiful and a powerful journey. Mm -hmm. I think 98% of Worship the King have been part of it. And I've seen the move of God mightily beyond denomination, sure. beyond equa, beyond whoever stands there. Mm. The last, the last worship the king, uh, Uncle T, the GM, was telling me where well, he was giving us a story uh, of of someone that received healing. Sure. Right, right there where where it was happening. Now this is just someone that even came up to speak up. There are there are people that want to believe that they've received healing, but they've not spoken up concerning 
uh, the encounter they've had. Now you see, it is important that if you are watching us and you are part of those that are leading in worship, mm. you understand your place as a priest. Sure. Understand your place as a Levite. Now when we get to understand that this is our calling, sir, it is to say that whoever, whatever, or whoever, or whatever post you have as a pastor there, whether you are the one preaching, you are the one collecting offering, you are the mm -hmm. one doing call to service, mm -hmm. you are the one playing the instrument, you are the one working on the light, mm -hmm. it is all supposed to work to complement one another. Sure. If we don't do that, it becomes a concert that is just a normal yeah, concert. Yeah. And, 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 and before you say something on this, I, I, I need us to really understand that this is the reason I, I, I made a post some time ago on Facebook. And because I was really sad with the kind of music that is happening around us, mm. that you can, that you, you, you just see a thin line between a club and a concert, or, or mm. some, a club and a worship gathering. Because every concert now is called worship, even when it's not worship. Sure. Many people call it worship that they don't even, even understand what worship is all about. And then when you go there, you just go and see that there is no any difference between a club and that very particular place. Mm. And it's because we don't understand how God was able to choose the Levites. How he was being intentional and your personal, he was personal about mm. this very particular people. Mm. So I don't know if you have anything to add to Yes, that. Um, like you've said, you just imagine the chaos now. The worship leader who does not know where he's leading people to. <laughs> <laughs> so and where are the worshippers now going? Mm. You can see the, the chaos because people will follow him. Mm. By you being there, already people are willing to follow you. Blindly. But you don't know where you're going. <laughs> you don't understand the presence of God. You don't even know what God is saying. You're not in tune with the Holy Spirit. So you don't understand the move. At the end of the day, you will jump, shout, do all you, you have done, thinking that you have worshipped God. Thinking that you have done the right thing. Even with your music. <laughs> well, God is not even in it. So it's very important, like you said, Worship the king is, a, is just by the corner in Lafia. And a lot of people are going to uh, come there. A lot of people are looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it because I'll also be you part be of ministry. this worship. The, king, the question that should be going through the mind of the worship leader that is going to be part of that place should be, what, what, God, what's the direction, please? Yeah. What is the sound? That's the prayer. What is the sound mm. that you want me to release? I am mm. your vessel. It's not even about, uh, I'm the come and see, I'm going to sing in worship. The mm. It's not even about that one mm. for now. Mm. The, the thing is, are you really connected to what the Spirit mm -hmm. is about to do? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is, is it all about? And what makes... What makes worship a worship service a success, mm. or let's say effective a worship service? Is it by how melodious your song is? Is it by how good you are in the music, mm. or as a preacher how eloquent you can you can speak, how you can expose scripture? Is that what makes it good? Because a lot of people are confused. They feel if I'm not there. My church, huh? they will <laughs> suffer. They can't, they can't really worship God well as, as they can. If I'm not there, because what your mind at that moment is telling you is your ability is what makes worship what it is. No. God can be glorified in what you even think that he is not being glorified. That very person that cannot sing like you may truly be doing it unto God mm -hmm. and God will be glorified. Mm -hmm. And you that feel that you are the best mm. in that place may be doing for your own selfish motive mm. and God will not be glorified. Mm. So don't think because you can deliver good music, that's just it. Mm. Now I'm not saying good music is not... It's not good. 
It's not good to offer God. That's not what I'm saying. It's very good to work hard, to build yourself, to give God your best when it comes to music. Mm -hmm. But it is not that that really matters. What really matters is the presence you carry. Mm -hmm. Where are you coming from? Mm -hmm. Where are you leading people to? It's very important. So that at the end of the day, people should be pointed towards God. Not that when they are going back home, they are saying, oh, that guy, voice, ah, it's just that all they can remember is that you can see. Or all they can remember is, oh, he can preach. Mm. They, they are not even really thinking that, oh, I've, I've seen God in a different way today. Mm. Oh, I've experienced my life will change. They are not going home like, Kai, no, I'm determined. Now I've made up my mind, I'm going to serve Jesus no matter what. That's not what the watch, they are just like, oh, I wish I can just train, I need to go and train myself to sing as this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? So a lot of people go to worship mm. services and, and we become a distraction to them mm. rather than pointing them to, back to God. So yeah. I think a lot of worship mm. leaders um, yeah, and, and, today and have I missed that. And I think I think it's we, we can still have the, the flyer back on the screen so we can talk more about sure. about about this very program. Mm. One of the people that will be ministering with us, you, you happen to be one of one of the men of God that will be sure. blessing us. And it, it's quite humbling yeah. being with you for all these years. Mm. You've blessed me as much as sure. we are friends. Sure. But I know that I've I've been blessed under your administration. Mm. I've been blessed when I hear you speak, just mm. like now. Mm. And even when you lead people in worship. Mm. I remember we had a program last weekend. It was it was amazing. It was a sure. beautiful time sure. with God. And I knew that God is going to use you mightily to do mm. great things. Mm. And uh, it, 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 we, have, we have Josiah Awari. That's mm. our elder Josiah. Sure. We have Mizi. Mm. Uh, Adams, please, can we, have the, can, we have the, can we have it on the screen? Mizi Adams, right? Mm. We have uh, Raymond Diaye. Raymond Diaye. We have uh, Paul uh, Kofa. Uh, Paul Kofa. Yes. We have James Sachs, mm. we have uh, Neken Chuan, sure. and then we have uh, E. Daniels, sure. amongst others. Mm. Our, our fathers will be there, the mm. president of ECWA, and then the GS secretary. Yes. Joe GS Moses is, yeah. is there also. Yeah, Joe Moses is going to be there. Yeah. Our GS is going to be there to, sure. to bless us. Mm. And I just want to say just a few things about the peaks. It's not like, that's not all. We have them many there. Sure. Just a few things I'll, I'll, I'll say about some of this. Like, uh, an example is E. Daniels. Mm. This is someone, in fact, I, I, I never knew. I never knew till last year at, uh, uh, and yes, the, the, the venue is going to be uh, Equa Good News, GRE Lafia, Nasara State. It's going to be uh, 6 p.m. at the first match. That is next Sunday. You don't want to miss this. Mm -hmm. Next Sunday. I remember last year, last, uh, sorry, this, uh, this uh, Worship the King we had mm -hmm. not long ago. Yeah. I remember when, when E. Daniels was ministering. And uh, I, was, I was actually in Kaduna for the program too. And during the Sunday service, the church wanted him to speak about himself, you know. And he made mention of some things. And, he, and people never knew that he was visually impaired. Mm. They never knew. And you, you, know, you, know, you know, as we are, as believers, we only worship God when things are right with us. Mm. I'm not saying all, but it's like a cliche. It's like, mm. you know, the only time I come to give God thanks is when I have a bountiful harvest. Mm. I will not come and give God thanks that I was fired from the office because I mm. did something right. You understand? And the way you could hear him worship, you could see that it's from the abundance of his heart. Mm. It, it was from the depth of his heart. He was not holding grudge against God with mm. what he was going through. Mm. You understand? Yes. But to him, it was, it was more reason mm, to, to give God, God. worship. Mm. It was more reason to give God worship. Mm. And you could see how the atmosphere was was mm. was 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 lit up mm. you could see how people somewhere on the floor mm. because when it comes to worship you don't detect people how to worship definitely somewhere sitting down somewhere standing down somewhere on the floor it was just an atmosphere i think till around 8 p.m we we're still in that church mm. yeah, that's when the worship worship the king was was mm. was going on mm. because people don't want to leave because of the sure. encounter they were having mm. this is someone that has been a blessing to the yeah. body of christ mm. this is someone that god has used to reach out to people mm. people came out to be prayed upon the church was filled to the brim it mm. was filled to the brim mm. you know it, it was an atmosphere it mm. was that it was an atmosphere that i am still living in it mm. 
I remember that uh, I remember my, my childhood friend Ezekiel Anthony. He ministered there. That is someone that we grew up with. Mm. But I never saw him as my childhood friend that was on the stage. Sure. I was right there where the is where where the sound guys were. You could see how my eyes, you know, I was crying and I was just caught up with the mm. with the sound that God God is releasing through him. Mm. Now this is some of these are some of the experiences we've had. We did not gather as equa. We mm. gather as the body of Christ. Mm. Because so many people from other denominations came mm. and they were blessed. Sure. And then we have Neken Chuan, one of the great, great, great guys we have here in Joseph. Yeah. I love the spirit of that man. Mm. We, we had rehearsals with him. Sure. And we're going to be having rehearsals with you too, sure. by the grace of God. Sure. And it, it's been a, a, an amazing time from, mm. from seeing through the lineup of his songs that we did. We, we, and, and you know, I, 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 I want to make people understand that your, your, your worship is not the day of the worship. Sure. <laughs> it's not the day of the program. The no, experience should not be the day of the program. You understand? It's way before that. It's way before the. <laughs> and why am I saying this? That when we were rehearsing, mm. one of the songs we just had to dwell there. Because we could feel we could feel God was moving mm. through that song. That's where we're rehearsing. Now as we tell you, and you know when deep <coughs> call it call it unto deep, where you feel sure. God's presence, you just know that this song was birthed on the knee. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You understand? It yeah. was birthed on, on the knee and on yeah. prayer. Sure. And these are a few people that God is going to use to bless us in Lafia. You can't be in Lafia and, and not be a part of this. Sure. Because it, 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 it will be like it will be like a blue hmm. to you that you are told that something like this happened in Lafia. Why? Because God wants to release a sound, probably for the nation. But he wants to release a sound in that geographical location. Mm. I'm very sure that people will be healed. Sure. Witchcraft will be dealt with. Mm. Persistent issues will be dealt mm. with. Mm. Uh, ailments that are consistent will be dealt with. Mm. You know, uh, issues that has to do with uh, uh, generational curses will be dealt mm. with. Mm. And then encounters will be made. Lives will be saved. Mm. People will receive Christ. They will return to God. Mm. Because I know there is going to be a sound that God will release. Mm. And one thing I see from the, from the lineups of the people there, about th these are people that I, I, I have, I've been under, I've heard them minister. Sure. You actually know that they allow God to move the way he wants to move. Mm. And then uh, they, 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 they stand to be like a mouthpiece, mm. like a mouthpiece whenever they are leading people in worship. Sure. So I want to believe there will be an agreement like it was in 2 mm. Chronicles chapter 5. Sure. I want to believe that when the first person started to the last to the last person is going to be built up. Sure. I want to get to a point whereby I will never recover. Just like mm. I, I'm still yet to recover like uh, Kaduna. Sure. I'm still yet to recover Gumbi. Mm. I'm still yet to recover other experiences because it was nothing but the presence of God. Mm. It was nothing but the presence of God. Mm. And why? Because those people stood to lead us in worship because they understood the Levitical order. Mm. They, they, they understood times and seasons. Sure. They understood how to lead people in worship. And they understood, they know the voice of God. Mm. Because, you know, I remember w w when, we were, when we were in Gombe, mm -hmm. watching the King Gombe, one of the times that one of our brothers was leading the song, he just had to dwell there. Because he understood. And, and when he was dwelling there, I just rose my and said, oh, thank you, Jesus, that this man was able to understand that this is where God wants mm. him to dwell. Not mm. knowing that while he was there, God was dealing with someone within the congregation. Mm. So I'm expecting that we would remain, you know, we would mm. remain uh, mm. uh, uh, connected. Uh, connected. Mm. Regardless, maybe you have a lineup of songs. Mm. Regardless, maybe the next song is the baddest one. You, know? mm, like you are <laughs> saving for the last. <laughs> saving for the last. But God is saying, no, 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 that one Sang just leave Mm. That one that you're saying for the last was for your rehearsal. Mm. This one now is for today. Yes. Dwell there. Yeah. So, Elder, I don't know what you have more to add mm. to this. To this Honestly, um, it's the Bible tells us that um, God inhabits the praise of His people. So, where people raise genuine worship and praise unto God, mm. the Bible says He, in His fullness, He inhabits it. That means He dwells. Mm. His Manifest. presence come that now his manifestive presence. Not the pray his own he's everywhere, of course, mm. but when he says he dwells in it, Manifest. that means at that point there are manifestations that will take place. Portals will be opened. Yes, yes. Now people who are uh, uh, sensitive to such atmosphere will get that which they seek, mm. that which their heart desires. Mm. And people who are not sensitive will miss out. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. it's it's short. <laughs> is the same thing. So, 
Let me give an instance. In the scripture, when you read through the stories and, and you see the places where Jesus went to, when he was passing, there are certain people that understood the atmosphere. Mm. They understood that now, uh, Emmanuel, God is with us at this point. Because they understood Jesus, his presence there. Mm. So there was access. And where Jesus was, they knew that they could get that which their hearts desired. So you see that very few people that understood really used the opportunity. And others could be, let me give an instance, like the blind man, mm -hmm. Bartimaeus. When he, he was in a place, Jesus was passing from the crowd and the noise. He was blind. But he understood that this place, Jesus is the one passing mm -hmm. here. Okay. <laughs> so he knew that. And he knew that that was his opportunity. And the thing is, so many people passed. Yes. Do you think he's the only <laughs> blind man there? <laughs> that must be their spot probably. But <laughs> he was the one the Bible told us. That despite the fact, people were telling him a lot of things. No, uh, keep quiet, keep quiet. It doesn't matter. He has a lot of things. He's going somewhere. He, he didn't come here. He said, no, he will continue. He pressed on. And what happened? He received his healing. The same woman with the issue of blood. Mm. When she understood that moment that Jesus was in the environment, mm. She pressed, pressed on, on, even with the crowd. I'm sure people were telling her, go away. Uh, you're not supposed to be here. Uh, you touch him. Even people could have pushed her, mashed her, whatever they want. She pressed on at that moment. She was not the only sick people who were struggling mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. issue of blood, I'm mm -hmm. sure. And so many instances we see where people had to press on. I know when programs like this, Worship the King, of course, we have been there. For us that have experienced it and we have really seen the move of God. We have, we have really experienced God. Mm. And the presence of God has happened. A lot of people have come and received. There are other people that have come and gone. They came and went with their bodies mm -hmm. again. Mm -hmm. Now, another one is another opportunity that is coming very soon on the 31st mm -hmm. in Lafia. It's possible you are that person who you, you really desire God to do something. I want you to believe that. Let us trust God together. Mm. Let us worship him and raise our voices mm. unto him. And let's trust that his presence will come down. Mm. And I tell you, when his presence comes down and we press on, with faith, he is going to reward our faith with mm. that hard desire that we want. Mm. So a lot of people, I, I know even people may want to even discourage you and say, oh, is it not the program that we, we already know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. What are you going to do there? Mm -hmm. What is nothing good is normal concert. Mm -hmm. I tell you, this is not normal. When you take worship gatherings as normal, it will be normal to you. Mm -hmm. You have to be able to be sensitive enough, even in your church service, when you go, be sensitive to mm. the Holy Spirit. Mm. Don't take it as a normal gathering. All that oh, is normal. Let's just go to church and fulfill all righteousness and come back. Mm. No, mm. it's beyond that. Mm. People are accessing breakthroughs. People are accessing uh, healings. People's lives are being changed for the better. Mm. So don't be that... A ordinary person mm. be inclined to the Holy Spirit mm. trust God with faith that as you come 31st in Latvia mm. um, and I, I, amazingly um, one of the team that were the team actually that were working has to do with spiritual renewal right mm. you know renewal 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 is very important you might be there that you need this spiritual renewal. Mm. Let's trust God together to, to bring about this, mm. his kingdom on earth. Mm. Let's trust God to be in one harmony. Let's trust God. It doesn't even matter. Look, God can use the person you least expect. 
you may feel that uh, this musician is not anything mm. to you. Maybe you want uh, who is the best uh, gospel musician in the world now? So who is the most <laughs> celebrated? Maybe you want people that are maybe global. Mm. And then maybe this uh, worship leaders that we have now, the minstrels that are coming, they are not yet that global. They don't have the fame and the name that you you want. You wanted a bigger uh, musician. I tell you, God can use the word that you don't even know his name. Once God is God, that will move. Mm. So be open. Don't let the personality or, or your thought about the person, mm. how you have degraded the person, mm. don't let that hinder you from receiving from the Lord. And I think, mm. I think this last statement you made was, was the same reason why Jesus mm. could not do anything. Mm. at a place where he found himself because mm. ah was this not the son of the yes carpenter. carpenter joseph you know and this is what this is what i've i've trained myself not to not not mm. to allow play inside of me as much as we joke together mm. as much as we play together mm. we would sit down one you know eat together would, sure well, you, you know we there is this correct is, one is, yeah is a thin line whereby if i see you see ah you know, this guy that will just finish trekking. You know, and things like he, and he's telling us to stand up on our feet and mm -hmm. worship God. Mm -hmm. I think we have to stop seeing people by who they are, but seeing people by what God wants to do through them. Mm -hmm. If you want to define me, or if you want uh, to define the way you worship God by defining me, mm -hmm. I will be a hindrance to your worship. Sure. I will be a hindrance to your worship. I don't want you to look at... Maybe let's say, uh, let's say uh, Raymond uh, Diaye, one of the ministers, ah, this man, I don't like the way he's shouting, you know. But the time that you are complaining, you don't like the way he's shouting, mm. it's the time that you God is speaking to your needs. Mm. As at the time you are you pointing missing. your finger and saying things, is the time that God wants to address mm. your own situation. So I, I, I don't want you to define, uh, I don't want you to see people and define them by how you see them. Like by seeing the way these people are, their music is not going to be powerful. Mm. You know, I don't like the way they're doing things like this. You need to understand that God moves in, in different ways. He doesn't move by your own ways. He doesn't move by your own uh, uh, standard, right? And I, I, I really want you to be very expectant. If you're coming for this program, come with expectation. First, to worship God. Mm. The expectation that is important is to worship God first. Mm. Because, you see, the, the problem we have as believers in the Christendom is that we are always going to church for what we will get, mm. no, not what we will give. Sure. sure. But Paul is saying that we should offer mm. ourselves. Which worship is, is giving. Actually. Is giving. Before you but, but our receive. worship, but our worship, <laughs> our worship is to receive. That's yeah. the problem. And that's why sometimes when we mm. go to God's presence, we mm. come back empty. There sure. is nothing. Sure. Sure. You understand? So we should have that at the back of our mind that you, you, you know, say David said that I, I, I will give, I will never give God what does not cost me. Mm. I want to give him what cost me. What is that thing that cost me? We're not talking about money. Because mm. really when you talk about what cost, people think it's mm. money. No. What, what is dearest to you? It might be your flesh. God is saying, give it out. Mm. What is it that costs you that much that you mm. can't give? When you give it out, that is where you define what worship is to God. So we, we don't want you to be a consumer of worship. Mm. This worship the king. Be a producer. Mm. Why not we make heaven... Uh, 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 more wh 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 why don't we give God more worship yeah. why don't we give God more uh, obeisance more of the love that he deserves mm. rather than eh, is when we worship him that he will bless us no, no I don't want you to expect the blessing mm. I want you to go to worship, worship him, him even for who if he you is. don't see any blessing for who he is mm. I'm telling you sir at, at Lafia Sorry, at, at Gombe. I don't know if you observed me when we were praying. Mm. I was crying. Mm. And this, this, this is the personal testimony, but, but I want to encourage someone. While we were, while we were at worship the king, I, I saw God open my eyes and I saw, I saw him seated. Mm. He was seated and he was just smiling right at, at, towards the roof. I could see a throne mm. and I could see a face smiling. Mm. And I, I couldn't hold myself. Till we got to the hotel, I was not myself. Mm. Because... It is to see that it, and you are there. 
Mm. There's no way you see that it was faked. Sure. The worship sure. was not. Sure. It was. It was sincere and it was mm. deep worship to God. Sure. And you could feel God moving there. Mm. So I, 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 I wanted to have that expectation to have encounter with God. It could be face to face. Mm. It could be by word. It could be through healing. It could be through a prophetic word. It could be through the scripture that will be read and God will be mm. attacking the issues you are going through. Sure. Maybe you are, you, are, you are sick. You've been having a particular issue. Or maybe they said, eh, it's from the village. Come. If you come just because you want to have an encounter with God, you say that God inhabits our praise, right? Mm. Where he inhabits, there is no sickness. Yeah. There is no disease. Cannot, there is no family generational stand. cause. It can't stand. <laughs> yeah. So I want you to come that you want to worship God and give him room to mm. dwell. Mm. If you give him room to dwell, it just takes one sound. <laughs> it just takes one, one, you know, one something that God would just want to speak to keep you in a way that you would live continually for Him. And I want to remind you, our 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 our, our, our viewer and dear worshiper, that whatever you are going to do as a worshiper mm. is a sacrifice to God. Sure. It is not a song to God. It's a sacrifice to God. It's supposed to be a sweet smelling savour. It's mm. supposed to. To, to radiate his presence, radiate his, his presence, radiate his, his glory. And there are so many things that, uh, mm. that, that, that comes to, to make this happen. Mm. You know, it's not easy to organize such, such events. Sure. You hear money is in millions. I remember the last one that was held. The, mm. the way the, way, uh, <laughs> the general manager was mentioning names, mm. I was really scared. Mm. But I know that wherever God mm. is worshipped, you know, he makes the environment. He sure. enables the environment to come to reality. Mm. So it is our prayer. Mm. It is our prayer that God mm. provides all that is needed to make this mm. gathering come to reality. Mm. For those that are going, traveling, for those that are going to be present, for the sound, for the mixing, and everything that God will find uh, expression. Mm. So, Elder, in just a minute, can and, you say something? Uh, finally, I, I just want to add, just like uh, Jesus will say um, in his scriptures, I think, is it in Jeremiah that is written that... Um, yeah, Jeremiah 29, I think, that says, I know the plans I have for you. They are of good, not of evil. They are to give you, Prosperity. you know, yes, Hope and an expected it. end, right? So someone could just read that and just say, okay, I'm going to receive prosperity and all of mm. that. God says he has plans for you, but mm. you have not given him your, his, your life. <laughs> How does he, he was not going to force his plan. Or force the prosperity of for you. Mm. He's not going to force it. So worship is first of all giving him. Mm. You have to give him everything. You have to say, I am for you. Mm. I'm letting go of the world. I'm, mm. I'm leaving all these things behind. Let me follow you. Mm. And when you take that first step, then God begins to manifest his plans mm. with you. And, and you, you're going to be better for it. So let's trust God. That is not just songs that we are going to offer mm. on that day. Um, let's offer our entire being. That is Amen. where it starts first. Amen. Then God will actually answer our prayers. Dear viewer, thank mm. you for, for joining us. Thank you for being a part of us. Mm. The priest and the Levites will have to agree together to worship God in truth and in spirit. You are in Lafia. You intend to be part of this program. Don't hesitate. You can keep checking on this page on, on, on Facebook to get more details. And it's our prayer that God would find expression through you sure. and he'll be worshipped. Have a beautiful evening. God bless you.